Ever wonder what lies beneath the rugged terrain of the North Dakota Badlands? Well, welcome to the Bakken Basin, where efficiency meets ingenuity, and oil flows like it's auditioning for a lead role in a high-stakes energy drama. I'm Mark Roach, your glitchy guide through this powerhouse region. The Bakken has been defying odds and setting benchmarks for over a decade, delivering a performance worthy of a standing ovation. And by performance, I mean 6,259 wells drilled into some of the most technically challenging geology in the continental U.S. If the Bakken were a person, it would be an unflappable tightrope walker juggling flammable torches while dodging crosswinds, bold, risky, always wired for a comeback. Dive into the data, and the Bakken quickly characterizes itself as a case study in resilience and optimization. On average, wells here punch down to a true vertical depth, TVD, of 10,502 feet. That's almost two miles deep. Practically a drilling, or it's practically drilling a well to bring up molten ambition with its oil. The well designs have, have one mandate etched into them like an ancient code. Stretch long and work hard. The median perforated lateral length comes in at nearly 10,651 feet. With engineers loading up their propent like they're jamming the last carry-on into an already overstuffed airplane. But the results? Production metrics that are nothing short of cinematic. Look at the oil recovery stats. The median oil shrunk EUR, that's estimated ultimate recovery, per perforated lateral foot stands at 38.47 barrels. That's not just geometry meeting geology, that's efficiency sitting at the penthouse of energy innovation. Top performing wells, however, climb to even higher, up to 65.14 barrels per perforated lateral foot. Why stop at, at good when you can aim for great, right? But don't be fooled, this isn't just about meeting forecasts. No, the Bakken competes by bending the rules of possibility, refining it until designs are even, even the skeptics are left nodding in approval. Of course, the true magic of the Bakken lies in its ability to adapt. Common theme here in the U.S., huh? Back in the early days of shale, the play had a reputation for being an expensive experiment. Break-even costs often sparked debates that could rival your last family Thanksgiving. Now, industry averages offer an entirely different narrative. The median break-even price for oil in this region sits around $42.41 a barrel, with the most efficient wells skating as low as $24.16 a barrel. Yes, you heard that right, $24. It's like the Bakken operators took a page out of a financial thriller and slashed inefficiencies like they're cutting red tape in hyperdrive. High upfront costs like typical CapEx or capital expenditures of $9.1 million per well are offset by groundbreaking economics of scale, precision, exploration, and technology that might as well be borrowed from the future we used to dream of. Ah, and speaking of tech, this is where the Bakken unequivocally shines. Predictive analytics have stepped in to act like a backstage conductor, ensuring a flawless performance. Operators analyze streams of data in real time, enabling drill bits to surgically seek out only the highest yield zones. Lateral design, fine-tuned to almost a symphonic precision. Propent loads, calibrated not just to enhance fractures but to ensure reservoir optimization over the life of the well drill sites here aren't just engineered their perf their performances narratives of innovation told one frac stage at a time 
Still, the Balkan isn't without its unique challenges. The region's steep decline rates often make headlines, lending weight to the phrase, you don't pass your first test in the Balkan without breaking some geologic eggs. Initial production figures might shoot skyward, but maintaining that output requires finesse, capital, discipline, and a keen understanding of the subsurface complexities. Operators now use enhanced recovery techniques to stabilize long-term yields, ensuring that decline curves level off more gracefully, left less cliff diving, more smooth surfing. Market dynamics add an additional wrinkle, as always. With global oil prices anything but predictable, Bakken producers face their fair share of turbulence. But they've learned to weather these storms by keeping both eyes trained on cost, discipline, and a fierce commitment to operational efficiency. Ever watch a pilot land a jet in a gale-forced wind? Well, that's essentially the Bakken economy. Stable hands steering through chaotic headwinds. Now zoom out for a moment because the implications stretch far beyond local oil markets. The Bakken showcases what poss what's possible when the limits of human ingenuity collide with the unforgiving realities of geology. Its story is as much about adaptation as, as it is about maximizing opportunity. This is a region that doesn't just innovate, it iterates. In doing so, it reframes the energy conversation, proving that brute force is no longer the currency of success. Instead, it's about tapping into precision, innovation, and creativity to create energy infrastructure that thrives on chaos and converts it into opportunity. Credit where it's due. None of the anal analysis would be possible without their stellar data provided by ComboCurve.com. This insight that I'm offering today offers a crystal clear lens into the inner workings of one of America's most groundbreaking energy plays, spotlighting both its creative solutions and the challenges that keep its engineers, analysts, and geologists on their toes. Here's the takeaway. The Balkan isn't a relic of the shale revolution. It's a live wire in the energy landscape. A constant reminder that tenacity often carries more value than brute strength. Its wells might be punching through two miles of rock, but its real depth lies in its role as a blueprint for what's possible when you pair technology, sophistication, with unshakable industrial spirit. Until next time, stay sharp, stay curious. I'm Mark Roach, FutureWise Energy, and this has been your look into the Bakken Basin and its unwavering commitment to rewiring the rules of energy production.